I was part of a team that selected targets for strike. I was a targets intelligence officer, and that was our job to, to select targets to be blown up, basically. Those targets would be put on a target list, and General Schwarzkopf and the rest of the command would um, agree on the targets on, on the list, and then uh, aircraft would be sent out to uh, attack those targets. At the beginning of the war, you kind of want to you want to get rid of the the eyes and ears of the enemy. Anything that could um, permit the enemy to see you. Once you can shut down their command and control, then you want to attack their logistics, their airfields, bridges, um, anything that can slow down their ability to transport things from from one area to another. Technology really came to the fruition during that war because we were able to test different devices. For example, the Tomahawk missile, it had a specific guiding system that enabled it to track the terrain to target a specific target. I believe it was the most successful air war. The planning was done well. We had clear objectives and I think that's an important thing. It wasn't to take over Iraq or get Saddam Hussein, you know, it was basically to, to drive the Iraqis out of Kuwait uh, and return everything to the status quo. Some people call it Desert Storm some sort of electronic video game, but to me it, it wasn't and it became a more, more realistic, more human endeavor when I was able to meet a family, a Kuwaiti family who had been displaced from their home after the Iraqis invaded Kuwait. And to just talk to this family and to see this family just close up, these were real people uh, who had been attacked. These were real people who had been displaced from their homes. Put a real human face on what it was we were there to do. I absolutely, positively, unabashedly love this country. My service was validated when I put that uniform on and took the oath. So it didn't take Desert Storm to do that. I was proud of my service and, and was glad I did it and, and would, would do it again.